Hi guys, so this is the RDX 3080 Bench guy. So I have been making a lot of videos for you guys uh, for my Legion 5 Pro. But all of them have been on balance mode. So let me just give you an insight on how Lenovo software works. Uh, it has a cool gauge for CPU and GPU customization and utilization, but also along with SSD. But there is a thermal mood here, so I don't want to go through other stuff. Uh, I will just show you how the thermal mood actually works. Primarily, I want to focus on balance mood first because that's where I wanted to use all my work. But this is where uh, the system actually performs higher. So from now on, all my gaming benchmarks will be on performance mood and the other thing I will show you how to enable and disable the mug switch so I turn this to performance and then you will see a hybrid mood the moment you turn it off it will say it can only take effect after restarting your computer so let me just quickly show you I'm not really sure it works from from the software itself but the last time I actually went into the BIOS, there was a very, very specific option in the BIOS itself. And I highly recommend that you guys actually uh, use it from the BIOS. So, as usual, Windows is updating. That really sucks, but I rarely have any control over it. So I'm just pressing F1 and F2. I don't really know which one triggers the BIOS. I think it's F2. You can see the screen has a, a matte finish so you can hardly see me. So here is the BIOS and here you can see that uh, I'm on a discrete graphics. Uh, the cool thing is your mouse will not work so you have to use the trackpad. So if you go to dynamic uh, since I selected uh, turning off the mug switch, uh, when I got into the BIOS, this key traffic was already selected, right? So what happened is you just have to exit, do nothing else, and let the system boot. So now you won't have integrated graphics at all, and it will be running purely on 3070 RDX. So, from now on, all my new videos will be using performance along with the mug switch turned on. So, you can see how bright the screen is. It looks amazing. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. So... I haven't done Call of Duty yet, but I think that's something I need to do. But I will just quickly open the the panel for Legion Control Center. And here you can see that the hybrid mode is already off. So you don't actually have to go to the BIOS. I think it will just turn it off automatically. But just to confirm that you don't have to do another restart, just go to BIOS and turn on it off. And it should work. The other thing you will notice is the fan half kicked up. So in performance, I think it really pushes hard uh, your GPU and the CPU. Just to show you another insight is uh, if I go to W info. So I noticed while I was working since morning, uh, the average temperature of the CPU was close to 51 degrees. On idle it was roughly 44, uh, but when I was pushing my uh, code to run on this machine, the maximum the temperature went was 62, so which is like really cold and way better than Intel uh, experience that I had. Um, just to give you an insight, uh, you can see the temperatures. So it's on average runs pretty pretty normal 
there's nothing tricky happening so I would say uh, cooling wise this machine is pretty stable uh, but I will be doing a thorough uh, thermal test along with the real time real life usage of battery I haven't used the battery at all it has been at 95% and not charging so the good part about this laptop is uh, once it reaches 100 and you're putting it up on power it won't charge and ch continue using the battery cycles at all and I noticed the battery was dropping slightly even while I was powered on so I assume it's just using battery for some other purpose but I will be monitoring how it works uh, another thing to notice is this computer comes preloaded with this software called x Ride Color Assistant and this only works when your HDR is turned off and it actually has a really nice presets for Adobe uh, workflows and Pentone based uh, calibrations and stuff and it will automatically switch based on what content is running on your screen so if you run Dolby Atmos or Dolby Vision based content it will automatically reconfigure